you. And another campus tragedy involving the murder of a student at IU. Police are calling it an apparent murder-suicide. Officers discovered the bodies at an off-campus apartment complex. Eyewitness News reporter Rich Van Wyk is at the Stratum Apartments tonight with the latest with this investigation. Police, Bloomington police, are saying very little about the crime or the victim. She was part of an international community of students here at I.O., a community we are told the university makes special efforts to reach out to, to let them know where they can go, who they can call if they need help. The deaths occurred in an off-campus apartment complex. Police suspect the 20-year-old man hanged himself. They found a 21-year-old woman nearby, apparently stabbed to death. Residents told me they didn't know the pair and heard nothing out of the ordinary last night. Bloomington police aren't providing any additional information. The pair's relationship, a possible motive for the murder and suicide, whether police were called to the apartment before are all unanswered questions. IU says the woman was among the large number of Asian students studying at the Bloomington campus. When Ropeng's son came here from China, he remembers feeling disoriented. He also remembers the information and help provided by IU's Office of International Services. I would say I'm pretty, you know, okay with this thing. And uh, uh, if I run into a problem, I would know where to go or who to contact me. But for some foreign-born students, there are still significant language and cultural obstacles to overcome. Jung Ki Kien is from China as well. I know there is a place that can help us. But I don't know exactly where it is and how can I contact them. International students we spoke with say often when they need help, they rely most on their friends. Washington police are not releasing the names of the man and the woman. University officials are discussing this tragedy on camera, all say until the families of both the man and the woman are notified. John and Andrea. All right, thank you. Rich Van Wyk reporting from IU tonight. And family members are now trying to find a missing IU student. The sister of 20-year-old Joseph Smedley reported him missing on Monday. Vivian Brown told investigators her brother contacted her, saying he was leaving the country, but he does not have a passport. Smetley is 5'9 and weighs around 145 pounds. IU and his family are using today the hashtag FindJosephSmetley to get the word out about his disappearance.